call the meeting to order, please. And uh, before I move on to Agenda 2.1, Adoption of the Agenda, I should like to introduce our new Corporate Officer, Mr. Mark Brennan, and uh, to welcome Mr. Brennan and say how happy we are to have you in Vailmount. And uh, when I uh, saw all of your credentials and qualifications, <laughs> etc., I think we're very blessed to have you. So welcome to Vailmount, and the floor is yours. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> and um, I hope you didn't read all of my credentials, but no, just, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I'm only not, those that now. Nah. Only yeah, <laughs> only, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm kidding. Um, no, I'm thrilled to be here. It's it's. Um, I was telling the mayor just yesterday that you know I, I get this sort of real vibe that we're on the brink of something really mm -hmm. great here, and I think that Mark and I are both really lucky to be here. But this at this point, it's just I just feel like that there's great things ahead of us. So. Mm -hmm. um, and I have a wealth of experience, and I uh, mm -hmm. I hope that my brain cells haven't been tapped out over the years, and I can I can be a benefit to the community. I'm sure I can. And uh, I haven't had a chance to meet too many people in the community, but I know that the uh, the, the, the council are all wonderful, the staff are great, and um, I'm looking forward to great things. Good. Thank you very much, and welcome again. We're happy to have you here. And I just want to say that Councillor Rahmer, before he. I think before he came back, he said he'd heard of Pete and repeat, but he'd never heard of Mark and Remark. <laughs> <laughs> well, that means I'm a Remark. <laughs> well, I don't know. I uh, did uh, email both, and uh, I just said that it was going to be um, an interesting exercise to uh, um, determine how we were going to uh, what a address the two marks so that uh, we would know which was which. And Mr. Brennan uh, replied and said it was easy. He said, if something goes wrong, it's that Mark's fault. Uh, yeah. if, if, if anything goes right, he'll take full credit. <laughs> well, another uh, comment for color here is that you yourself pointed out that now that you've been uh, brought back as mayor, that you're actually a retread. That's so right. he's a remark and you're a retread. <laughs> That's I'm right. Feeling the love. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was um, Dr. Gordon McIntosh from Royal Roads University. I'm sure you know him. Yes. Okay. Yes. And he spoke to us last year at the uh, local government uh, learning academy, and he said they were the newly elect, they were the re-elected, and then there was Jeanette, who was a re <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're in a category all of your own. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but uh, I uh, am going to attribute that category also to or that comment to uh, Chief Nathan Matthew of the Simp Nation. He too is a retread. Okay. So thank you very much and once again welcome to Vailmount. So uh, agenda item 2.1, adoption of the agenda please. Councillor Torgerson and Councillor Blanchett, uh, motion that Council adopts the agenda for the um, April 26th, 2016 regular meeting of Council. Are there any additions or, yes, Councillor Torgerson. Uh, Your Worship, nothing's out of order except for way down in outstanding council resolutions. Mm -hmm. Mr. Administrator, your last name is misspelled several times there. <laughs> well, Rose, by any other name, is still Rose. <laughs> That's <laughs> So we'll bring it to the attention of the administration. Thank you. I think he took uh, the, the, the minutes, uh, Councillor. Did I didn't, you know I didn't the type them meeting? up, though. Oh, you didn't type them up. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank mm. you, Councillor Torgerson. Is there any uh, other uh, amendments? Okay. Hearing none, all in favor? Carried. 3.1 Adoption of the minutes of the April 12, 2016 regular meeting of Council. Recommendation that Council adopts the minutes. Councillor Torgerson and Councillor Blanchett, are there any errors or omissions? Mm -hmm. Hearing none, all in favour? Okay, right. Agenda item 3.2, adoption of the minutes of the April 7 uh, Columbia Basin Trust Community Initiative Program Adjudication Committee meeting. Uh, motion to approve the minutes, please. Councillor Blanchett. And Councillor Rahner. Councillor Blanchett, did you have anything that you wanted to add to this? No? Okay. 
So if uh, there are no errors or omissions, all in favor? Carried. It's a brief agenda this evening, and my experience is that when there's a brief agenda, somehow the minute the uh, meeting goes on and on. Agenda item 6.1, Trans-Canada Yellowhead Highway Association, 70th Annual uh, General Meeting. And uh, I believe we have a, what uh, Mr. Brennan has uh, supplied council is a cheat sheet. Now, is there anything that council wishes to bring forward for resolutions? Uh, sorry, is the cheat sheet for 6.1 or is it for 7? 7. 7, seven but uh, 6.1 is uh, the meeting. Yeah. And is there anything to add to that? Yes, Councillor Torres. This, this um, sorry. Yeah. Um, the only thing I take out of this is the uh, 4.03, uh, the members shall assign in writing representatives I do believe we have one representative and one alternative, but the new population uh, representation calls for two actual, we get actually two votes. So uh, perhaps we need to, uh, through a resolution, assign yourself as a vote as well. Okay. I am a past president and a life member. Councillor Salt, you wanted to add to that? Yeah, the reason why I really wanted to have this brought on the agenda is even though, yes, I am appointed and I'm a director on the board, um, this is a very, very important meeting, as I'm sure you've read. Um, there are, there's future considerations of the association, so it's very important that every community, um, member community, gets as many of their voting members in attendance, whether it be in person. We're also looking at um, via electronic means such as uh, Mayor Townsend attended and Russell via teleconference um, it, because it is a short time frame but we really want to get as many of the voting members there to to hear what is um, being proposed and discussed and to vote on so it's a very important AGM to discuss the future of the association so that's why I really wanted to um, see if your worship is able to okay. somehow make an attendance I uh, won't be able to attend in person but uh, I did speak with uh, the uh, administration there, and uh, I can join via telephone, Perfect. okay? Just as I did in Russell, Manitoba, okay? And uh, even though it's in Edmonton, it's close by, however, um, yeah. So um, I think it's, uh, I read the issues, and I think it's very, you know, we go back to what, 1947, 46? So this is the 70th annual general meeting. Yes. So yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's what happens when there is no cohesive vision. They accomplished a great deal, the Trans Canada Yellowhead Highway Association. It's remarkable what they have achieved. And uh, unfortunately, once um, a vision is achieved, and unless there's a new one, things kind of go sideways. Yeah, part of the problem is in some of the prairie um, provinces right. where they've had things accomplished, they were like, well, you know, we've got twin highways, we've got you know, this, that. Yeah. Don't see the value in my membership anymore, yeah. not considering all the other traveling That's public right. coming from yeah. other provinces to them. So yeah. uh, Winni or Manitoba, BC, we definitely still have our mm -hmm. challenges of wanting more Twinning and passing lanes. Uh, Saskatchewan <coughs> I know is still fighting for some things, but um, like oh, I said, em Edmonton's Edmonton pulling their membership has had a huge financial impact. Yes. Um, so there's a lot of things being reviewed and looked at. And like I had said last year, there was some strategic planning um, trying to be done. But it's like I said, it's been quite a critical year. So. Mm -hmm. Did Did you say that Edmonton pulled their membership? Yes. Edmonton pulled their membership. Yeah. And yet the meeting is occurring in Edmonton. It's yeah. simply because that's where the head that's office is located currently. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was planned to be in Saskatchewan and in Saskatoon this year, but um, because of the critical issues approaching, um, they wanted to hold it in a more centralized location for as many people to attend as possible. So, yes, even though Edmonton pulled, uh, yes, we know that's a very sensitive issue, um, but that's where the meeting's going to be, just because of the logistics. Logistics. That's right. And Edmonton has always been the biggest financial supporter, mm -hmm. as well as uh, for everything. They have always had the head office there. Uh, the um, annual dues are population-based, and uh, Edmonton was 
their, their, their dues were always very high. Comparing to the amount, I don't even know if ours was a thousand dollars or maybe yeah, just maybe a little just more. Little Whereas theirs were um, near a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay. So it makes a difference. Yes. <clears throat> Who's paying for the upgrade of that new bridge on the east side of Edmonton? Probably in the it wouldn't Alberta yes. Ministry of Transportation. It yes. And uh, the one thing, I attended um, the um, AGMs for many years. As I say, I'm a past president and a life member, and uh, always present at the annual general meetings was, um, if not the Minister of Highways from Alberta, then it was the Deputy Minister and staff. Okay, I can't say the, re the same for the rest of the provinces, but Alberta was always represented. Yeah, so, okay. How it's, many attendees, how, how big a conference is it? It's, it's been dwindling over the years. Mm -hmm. um, it used to be well over a hundred. It used to be very yes. well attended. Uh, yeah. In the last few years, we've really struggled and fought to even just have mm -hmm. enough actual board members present to make quorum for the AGM. Yeah. So that's why it's really, really important this mm -hmm. term. I'm going to be making phone calls to mm -hmm. the member municipalities in BC, encouraging all of their members mm -hmm. to at least attend in one way, shape, or another. Yeah. Okay. Any further discussion or questions? Okay, so um, I'll just um, take a vote, I guess. Uh, we had a motion to receive this in of receipt. Okay. Okay. Planchette and salt. Okay. Great. Right. All right. Yes. It, yes. <clears throat> um, in this letter, also, uh, if we've received it. Um, we have to, in writing. Uh, notify Trans Canada Yellowhead Highway uh, of the represent of the representatives that will be casting their vote. Mm -hmm. Councillor Salt, perhaps okay, we so you're making that motion. I am. That, okay, Councillor Salt. Uh, Councillor Salt and Mayor Townsend okay. are the authorized voters from okay. this membership. Okay. I, I don't know what happens now. I know in past years, after the mayor would do the annual appointments, letters would go out to the different organizations mm. stating who. So if, if that hasn't already been done, this could at least cover that. Okay. Um, did a letter not go from, y you were appointed in December? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, haven't, I don't see every letter, like the board doesn't okay. see every letter that comes okay. in. Uh, then perhaps uh, that can be looked into tomorrow, okay, to see if a letter did uh, go out with your appointment. I can even try and contact uh, administration myself just to verify. Okay, please do. But they know, they know. Yes, okay. <laughs> they know Yeah, I, I spoke yeah. to him just the other day. Yeah. And um, I also see that um, with respect to Edmonton, I see a lot of the strong supporters over the years. They've um, retired. Yeah. But okay. there's a whole new, new oh, I know. group coming forward. That's why okay. this is really being pushed. Okay. Well, I know that the uh, mayor of uh, Edson mm -hmm. and others are yeah. Yeah, still active. Still active. Okay, yeah. good. Is there anything further on this before we go on to um, the reading file to see if there's anything that council wishes to bring forward? No, nothing? Okay, so 8.1. Administrative report, recommendation that council authorizes staff to deliver a notice to the property owner, etc. What is council's wish? Does council wish to um, accept the recommendation that uh, staff is authorized to deliver a notice to the property owner? Councillor Torgerson. Seconded by <coughs> Councillor Blanchett. Okay. And it's open for discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Carried. 8.2 Water Smart Action Plan. Recommendation that Council approves the updated Water Smart Action Plan developed for the village 2015 to 2020. Councillor Torgerson and Councillor Blanchett. <coughs> Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Carried. Building Inspector Report, 
a recommendation that uh, 8.3 that council directs staff to send a letter by registered mail to the property owner giving the property owner 30 days um, to apply for a permit etc okay Blanchette and salt is there any discussion yes councillor um, which councillor me well you put your hand up councillor Reimer okay uh, 30 days puts us pretty close to fire season so I'm not sure of the process past 30 days he has 30 days to um, apply for a permit mm -hmm. um, that neighborhood is heavily treed mm -hmm. and um, I caution uh, the process following those 30 days whether it's a uh, feasible safe to do so uh, to follow up with that permit for demolition would you like to amend the mo uh, motion by just yes I have Go additional ahead. information that's okay. come forward since the okay. publication of the agenda okay <clears throat> and um, fortuitously the um, the uh, property owners have been in touch with the um, fire inspector or bylaw officer and um, they've um, been in touch with uh, professional services engineering firms or whatever they are looking at, uh, at um, doing demolition on the property so some some movement is being made on it currently mm -hmm. and they are in touch with us and and responsibly keeping us up to date just just for edit background is there anything further well yes. <clears throat> yeah, uh, what I was going to mention was whether or not uh, demolition was the only alternative in this case so. yeah uh, um, <clears throat> actually um, um, our fire inspector and building inspector met with them and uh, discussed the matter and they considered their options but they've concluded and it's nice they're coming forward on their own they recognize that they believe the best course of action is demolition in, in lieu of the hazards and the shape of the building and they're um, seeking advice on how best to do that so they're, they're following up quite responsibly on it yes so, so in, in view of that perhaps um, our, our letter should be worded a little bit differently and say if if it's not resolved yes, this should be updated if it's not resolved by uh, say the end of the summer that the whole idea be revisited about uh, what to do with this okay do you have something you wanted to add? I just wanted to comment that um, it, it's not automatic that any action will be taken after the 30 days. They're just being put up on 30 days notice that after that, council could take action. So it's kind of, it's rather open-ended, I would say that, you know, given the fact that there is action being taken, <laughs> I think it'll probably take care of itself, quite frankly, within, you know, so. But I mean, if you wanted to amend the, amend the wording, that's fine. But I don't, I don't think it's, it's that bad the way it is. It's just saying that we're putting on notice to, you know, to kind of resolve it within 30 days. Yeah. Okay. Is that satisfactory? Yes. Okay. Anybody? Yeah, on? we're we're simply asking the the uh, property owner to just apply for a permit, mm -hmm. not to actually complete the, the task. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Okay. okay. So if there is no further discussion, all in favor? Carried. Agenda item 8.2, Water Smart Action Plan, 2015 to 20. Recommendation that council approves the updated Water Smart Action Plan developed for the village of. Oh, yes. Well, we've already dealt with that. Oh, sorry. We're on to item 10. Item 10, that's right. Sorry. You know, I've mixed up my pages here. There we go. And uh, here we are bylaws and policies 10.1. Village of Vailmount five year financial plan bylaw number 754 2016. And we have recommendation uh, that council approves third reading and that um, approves third reading of the five year financial plan as well as the uh, five year financial plan bylaw number 754 with changes as provided by council. So, what is council's wish? Yes, councillor. I'll move that we approve third reading of the five-year financial plan as presented. As presented, okay. Seconder? 
Councillor Reimer, is there any discussion? Hmm? Nothing? All in favor? Carried. 10.2, Village of Vailmount tax rate bylaw number 755. The recommendation is that Council approves first, second, and third reading of the Village of Vailmount tax rate bylaw number 755-2016. Torgerson and Reimer. Is there any discussion? Comments? None? All in favor? Carried. And 11.1, .1, Council reports, and I'll start alphabetically again to stay out of trouble. Councillor Blanchett. Okay, um, the 26th, no, when was the last Monday, whatever the date last Monday was, um, we had the emergency management uh, planning session in McBride. Um, it was really, really fantastic and very scary, and we <laughs> really need to get moving on this because mm -hmm. um, we're not prepared. And um, so I think that we need to do whatever it takes to get everybody to the table. Okay. and get organized. Okay. I think we need to make it a priority. Thank you. We do have uh, an emergency planning committee. And they haven't, met over, they haven't met in years. So that's the scary part. Of I'm council? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So there hasn't oh. been a meeting of, of the committee since probably 2013. Okay. So we need to get on that. But, yes, Mr. Brennan. I will. I um, was at the meeting last week, and uh, this was brought to my attention, and I uh, spoke about it with uh, Councillor Torgensen, mm -hmm. so I'll be in touch with the uh, the chair of that committee, mm -hmm. and we'll get a meeting and, and uh, get going okay. as soon as we can. Okay. But we do have uh, two council appointees for the uh, emergency planning, and that's why I was wondering if anything was to be reported to council from that. Nothing? Okay. All right. Um, and? and then I attended the Belmont Community Forest AGM, which was very good. It was very informative. It always is. Um, very happy with the new board. And on the 25th, last night, I came for the village public presentation for the five-year financial plan, and it was the fastest meeting of my life. <laughs> so it's too bad that uh, the public didn't take... Um, you know, come down and take an opportunity to listen to the great presentation that our uh, director of finance had. Um, but she was here, and I was here, and our corporate officer was here. Thank you. That's it. Councillor Reimer. It was at the uh, <coughs> at that emergency planning mm -hmm. um, seminar, and it, it it was very informative, uh, as well as an eye opener about what we need to do and um, good that we all, uh, three of us at least, had a chance to go and I believe Councillor Salt had attended prior, so prior. Mm -hmm. we're all kind of up to speed with uh, some of it. Um, <clears throat> and I was at the uh, AGM, Family Community Forest, very good AGM, mm -hmm. um, very positive, healthy, well run. Um, Thursday at uh, Vailmount Entertainment Society meeting, and Friday we had the opportunity and privilege to uh, be in Prince George with uh, with the Premier, and, and uh, our province is in good shape, and our, hopefully our communities will be in better shape. Thank you. Of course. Councillor Salt. Uh, I missed the last meeting, so I have a little bit of catching up to do. Um, I attended a Belmont Children's Activity Society board meeting on the 5th of April. Uh, a Prince George Treaty Advisory Committee on Tuesday, April 12th, which is why I was absent from the last committee or council meeting. Um, very interesting. Uh, talks are progressing, so action is um, starting to happen a little bit more with the Clay Clay Tene and the you Yukuch uh, First Nations, and um, we could be seeing some more meetings coming up in, in the future. Um, they're progressing well, and um, there's only so much I can say at this point, but uh, it was a very interesting meeting, really good discussion and debate, uh, updates from the federal and provincial governments as well, so it was very well attended. Uh, I also had a Trans-Canada Yellowhead Highway Association Board Executive Committee conference call on Friday the 15th of April. And then I had a 
just a four province Trans Canada Yellowhead Highway Association call for the um, VPs of each province on the 21st. I also attended the Community Forest AGM and also found it very positive and uh, great things are happening there and look forward to the board continuing the great work that they've been doing. So thank you both councillors for being a part of that board and doing such a good job with the board that are present. And I think that's everything for me. Unfortunately, I was unable to attend last night uh, due to illnesses and earaches and et cetera. So, but uh, like we've seen in the past couple of years, we haven't had a huge public attendance. So we might have to rethink how we do some things. Member Thank you. Councillor Torgerson. Uh, two meetings to worship uh, emergency management at McBride. Uh, I'm looking forward uh, as one of those councillor ca appointees uh, to, to convening uh, the emergency management committee. Uh, and then following that, uh, I attended the AGM of the Vellon Community Forest. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Well, I've attended a number of meetings too, but I want to comment on the Vellon Community Forest annual general meeting. I'm very proud of the board. I'm very proud of the two councillors uh, whom I have appointed to that board for participating and contributing to the success of the Vailmont Community Forest. And I know that the board, the executive there, appreciate councillors Reimer and Torgerson. So thank you both for your contributions there. As I say, I'm very proud of the achievements of that board, really proud. And uh, when I see some of the um, Hmm. Whatever is going on with other Vailmont Community Forests, I'm very proud of the way ours conduct themselves. And uh, on, I was at Regional District Fraser Fort George, and on April the 22nd, which was Earth Day, as a member uh, for the last several years of the Environment and uh, Standing Committee, it was uh, a real pleasure to attend uh, REAPS, the Recycling and Environmental Action Planning Society, they had um, an afternoon, or part of the morning and afternoon, by the Fort George Museum, and they had a number of booths, and the one that I really appreciated was the um, Norgro, you know, where they had compost there, and I understand that the following day they were here in Vailmount to distribute uh, compost to uh, our gardeners uh, for potting plants or their gardens or whatever. And uh, Premier Christy Clark was there. I spent some time with her as well as uh, with Minister Shirley Bond. And we had a very, very interesting Earth Day afternoon. And then, of course, uh, Friday evening was the uh, Premier's dinner, which um, it was um, my pleasure to attend. Uh, I think that's it. Thank you. Okay. And I should like a motion, please, to receive the verbal reports. Okay, Reimer and Torgerson, all in favor? Carried. Agenda item 13.1. I think just uh, a receipt of the outstanding council resolutions. Okay. Blanchett and Salt. Is there any discussion? Oh, hearing none, all in favor? Carried. Agenda item 15.1, and it's uh, public comments on items considered by council as part of the approved agenda. Is there anybody who wishes to make a comment? Okay. Hearing none, agenda item 16.1. Um, recommendation that council proceed to an in-camera council meeting for consideration of three items. Per section 91 G, I, and K of the Community Charter to discuss matters related to litigation or potential litigation affecting the municipality, uh, the receipt of advice that is subject to solicitor client privilege, including communications necessary for that purpose, and negotiations and related discussions rela uh, respecting the proposed provision of a municipal service that are at their preliminary stages and that, in the view of Council, could reasonably be expected to harm the interests of the municipality if they were held in public. Motion, please. Torgerson and Lanchette. All in favor? Carried. Oh, thank you. Look at that. 729? That was a quick one. Isn't that?